Ladies and gentlemen, episode three of GM mode is about to start. You're not in the wrong place. You don't always see this face on this channel, but I wanted to hop in here to just give a big thank you to everybody. Time that this video was recorded, we had just dropped the draft day video. We were kind of excited. Myself, G. Kenner, we're like, oh man, we might, you know, the draft video might get like six, seven hundred views. And y'all have brought a few more than six, seven hundred views. So at the time of this recording that you're about to see for weeks three and four, we had no clue. We had no idea uh, what was about to happen. We've had so many new people sign into the channel. We've had over 150 new subs within the last week and a half so to those of you that have dialed into the product thank you those of you that are taking the time to watch we had a lot of people come back for episode two for all those of you hitting subscribe as well a little extra dose of thank you to you because you're telling me hey i like this enough that i want to make sure i don't miss the next video so i just wanted to take a quick moment there and say thank you to you guys show that appreciation this is just a booking video here for our GM mode we spectate at the pay-per-views so at the pay-per-view myself cheek and canada will each pick one match that we'll do commentary over to shoot the breeze have a good time with however we're hoping to do multiple seasons we're hoping to do a throwback gm mode later in the year so spectating every week would make that mission impossible for us with our different schedules so we spectate the pay-per-view that'll be the next episode every third episode will be a pay-per-view special this one's a booking one weeks three and four hopefully you enjoy and thank you all again so so much it's pretty dope that i can hop in a call with two of my buddies that live in different parts of north america we don't get together often and this has given us a way to hang out and have a good time and you guys are hanging out and having a good time as well and that means the world so sit back and enjoy and if you're trying to figure out what brand to root for it's me e c double all right ladies and gentlemen we are back episode three of gm mode we are going to be booking weeks three and four in this one i've got cheek with me on wcw uh -uh. i've got canada with me over on smackdown yeah i don't know what to do I no, that, I, I, yeah that's like it's like kind of like we poured some ice down your back i kind of like <laughs> that i'm running ecw uh -huh. I'll give a little noise too. I panicked. I panicked worse than Canada did. It was to make him feel better. And then we got AI Teddy Long. So Cheek is kicking us off this week. And he's looking oh, to kick us off with a bang. Oh, this is easy goals. That give is me a hell goals. spa three just to have a tables match. Hell yeah. So last week, of course, uh, as you can see here in the notes, my tag team champion women's on the women's side. Zoe and Indy pair well together, so that's really good. So I have a lot of options and flexibility there. Um, as you can see in the at the very top of your screen, I have essentially no budget. So unfortunately, I'm not going to be able to get the wrestling center uh, for the tier three this week. I'm probably going to go ahead and hold off buying any of the next tiers for all of the other assets I could buy. And also, I added a couple talent. Uh, two talents last week with Triton and Gunther McGurder. So I'm probably not going to spend any money adding talent this week as well. So that before we book our show, we'll check the power cards and then we will be on our way. Um, that's ooh, cool. that's this is pretty good. I can steal 2% of their fans from next week's show. I've yet to see what the like if the gold one pops up in the store. I saw a video where someone got the gold version of this mm -hmm. and it was like 10% of fans wow which is insane and you can use it on yeah, paper you, so yeah, yeah, that's good. so honestly i didn't want to spend any money <laughs> but i think that's yeah. kind of cool so whoever i think the most successful gm is going to be for a pay-per-view i'll just go ahead and ride their coattails so i didn't want to spend anything didn't want to spend anything but i can't resist the temptation don't that. forget that could be raw it could be raw yeah but it could be smackdown could be ecw oh my i want you guys just back off and let me run a show <laughs> all right let's see so new to the game to our game gunther mcgurder we got to get this man a match and he's gonna go against akira tozawa 
because I think it's going to be fun. And they're going to be in a tables match. So go ahead and give me my gold commish. All right, now, now here's where I got to be careful. I don't have a super deep roster yet, so I got to start to think about stamina already. Um, like, you see the Miz is already down to 46. That's a little worrisome for me, so I got to get some of these other guys involved. So, Scripps, welcome. You're going to get a match here. Um, and I think... Hmm, this is tough. But I think I'm going to get him going against Triton. Now, I don't believe any of them had any special type of match stipulation, so... Reaps might, but it might be a match if you don't have unlocked yet. Okay, okay. I'm just gonna go as is for now. Yeah. Okay, I'm gonna go as is. Um, Braun Strowman does have a lot of stamina, but I don't really want him fighting this right now. Um, let's see. We can get Ripley and Lynch going. I won't mind doing that. That'll be our title match. And I am going to go ahead and do that for the tables as well. <sighs> and then we need another decent match, but I don't know where to go. Roman Reigns hasn't fought. Ricochet. I'm going to have... Can we have Ricochet go against Uncle Howdy? How would that go? So since they're both faces, it won't rate well, but you can definitely, you can mm. definitely do it. You just need to make sure it's in the middle. Well, let's see. One last match. Can Dominic go against Strowman? Let's do that. Styles match up, heel face. We need something. And we'll make it a titles match. What the hell? Braun's going to win that one anyway. It's not like it's going to be a big deal. Um, <clears throat> we're going to move that up here. I think that'll be our curve for the week. And then to keep things going smoothly, we're going to try to keep this rivalry going. And I'm trying to see. I'm not going to be able to do the tag team call out, will I? Because I need both uh, participants to not be. So you can, like, you could use Ricochet and Uncle Howdy to call out a team. Oh, cool. Because they can call out whoever, whether they're already in a match or not. So if there's a team oh. you want them to feud against, then you could basically set that team here. Okay. Let's try Akira and Scripps. Let's just see. Let's just see how it goes. And then I got one slot left. Our budget is gone, which is not what I wanted to do, but here we are. Um, oh, gosh. Let's just have... The Miz, you got those crazy six uh, skill on the mic, so I don't know if I want him to grow the rivalry with Braun. Let's just try it. All right. I think that's our show for this week. Dang. So we have pushed our budget to the max. $780. Begrudgingly. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Whatever. Screw it. All right. Oh, here we go. wonder what this could be about. I wonder. If you're not caught up. If you haven't watched the draft in episode two, then follow the draft. Check out the playlist in the description. If you're caught up, you know what this is going to be. But let's find out. Wait, no, this isn't what I thought it was going to be. Plot twist. I got an email about an ad agency in the area. How do you feel about giving them a chance? They're currently charging 10K for a three-week ad campaign. Ooh. It has the potential to gain us fans, but since they're new, there's always potential to lose. Ooh. I'm a gambling man. I also just noticed that top. I have a crazy budget right now. I assume I got the Seth Rollins contract back. So I'm going to risk 10K. I'm going to risk 10K. I'm going to hope I don't regret this. That actually terrifies me. Let's get it in the books. Update you next week. Okay. I don't know if that's going to work, but we'll see. All right. Rest of the male tag champs. Ooh, special promotion's a good card. So that's easy. Um, Chase, you won the belts last week. I can determine if I want to flow with that. 
Um, look at this stuff. I think get a couple, you know, at least get one tables match going. TLC we got to unlock. Tag matches we can get. A couple low hanging fruits we can knock out. This one I, I had this last year and it, I got it on accident. Didn't fully understand. And someone had told me it was like you have to have like a singles, a tag team, a triple threat, and a fatal four way on the same show. But then other people said it was different like stipulations. So I don't really know what gets me this. I might do a singles, triple threat, fatal four way, and a tag this week just to see if that triggers it so I can understand. Uh, GM interference is 10 of those is tough. It does hurt morale with whoever I'm interfering on. Um, so looking at these, I think I'm going to, so plus one show cost compensation, plus $1,000 each week for advertising tornado tag versus false count anywhere. Let me see if one of these has like a lot of specialties on our roster tornado tag false count anywhere for the tag guy. Um, I'm gonna grab the I'm gonna grab the advertising through the email campaign we're gonna go ahead and upgrade that for now um, beginners luck most popularity races by five just green I want to hate that but I don't think I'm gonna buy that they really want me to have the Superstars GM card, but I'm going to stay strong momentarily. So, right away, we're going to go tag team call out with Elton Prince of Kit Wilson. Pretty deadly calling out Chase U since Chase U needs the week off. And then I'll figure out match order in a sec. So, I'm going to put the four ladies in a tag match. They have their individual feuds. If we get a tag feud, cool. I can, you know, have that as some of the disposal. Then our one-on-one -on -one this week is going to be Logan Paul and Big E. Then we're going to do a triple threat, um, which ooh, maybe I don't do this this week because then I would need to sign. I would need to sign three people. So I think I'm going to hold on. I wanted to do one of each match type this week, but I think I'll wait until I don't have to rest two people to do that. Um, but let's see. Let's go. I'm going to go Sammy versus Ludwig Kaiser. Gunther runs in on Sammy. Then we're going to split the ladies here into two matches. Something like this. Like this. Like this. One signing this week. Let's see if there's anything specific I want, or if I just want to go and open ended search for somebody like a bigger name. So ideally, Big E would go with Logan Paul. If it doesn't happen, it doesn't happen. Everyone else right now has a rivalry, so whoever we sign here can kind of float, or you know, we do another signing next week, or if I really like what I get. We just spend big money this week, but we're gonna go. We're gonna go a little nuts here. I'm gonna search legends. I'm gonna search male legends. And I'm gonna leave the rest open. We're gonna let a little fate steer the wheel here and see what we get. Search. Ooh, okay. We got Shawn Michaels, Harley Race, Ooh. Dude Love, and Wade Barrett. Obviously, the legends expensive. With them being level 20, you can see they get two match type specialties. That's, you know, and we can build up our superstars to level 20 and benefit from that. Uh, so, Bruiser Fighter. Uh, fighter Bruiser for you as well. Specialist and Cruiser. Shawn Michaels, Fighter Bruiser. I think I'm going to go Shawn Michaels and Dude Love. Obviously, we're going to go a little shorter on these deals. We'll see how things go these next few weeks and then we'll face it then but we're gonna get Shawn Michaels we're gonna get the dude steer. hell yeah dude steer. 
And then Demonator. we're gonna make. I wanna make this a triple threat. And we're gonna include Dude Love. We're gonna hope that Logan Paul gets in a feud with one of these two. If Biggie and Dude Love get in a feud with each other, then I'll just turn one of them. Um, but to try to counteract this, I'm gonna have Shawn Michaels come in here. And I'm gonna have him call out Dude Love, and I'm gonna do it before the match to see like, if I can trigger the rivalry at the top of the show, then maybe that'll help like Logan Paul and Big E get into a feud. If it doesn't happen, we'll tweak it. I'm gonna go here. I'm gonna put this up top because the second match has the run in. And then we're gonna give this the table stipulation just to give it a little boost above the other stuff. So yeah, I, I feel good with this. We're gonna lock in this card, confirm this book. Lock it in. Let's go. Bang. The final rematch. Here we go. Thanks for the final rematch. I'm a little bit blah, blah, blah. Okay, that's fine. Morel. Death freaking Rollins. And interestingly enough, it doesn't look like our budget went down. I, so, I was yeah, worried that. I think you just get his contract. Like, you get him for free, basically. Yeah, but I was worried that, like, when you said, oh, my budget went up, I was like, oh my god, am I going to, like, go down 300k or yeah, what? Yeah. Here we go. Looking forward to my first match. Well, guess what? It's this week. Schedule a run in this week. Maybe, maybe. You don't have your first match this week. Maybe you run in this week. All right, we do have two assets. We could get something else here, but I don't think I'm gonna do it. Ooh. Health Dude. spa. Health spas are always great. I'm actually gonna do it. I'm gonna get a health spa. Beginner's luck. Uh, popularity with the lowest popularity. Who is that? Uh, popularity. That would be. Chad Gabester. Uh, Gabester's got to put it in work. He's not getting a free boost. I'm sorry. That's just not happening. Boost. All right. We do. Oof. Actually, I think we're just going to book some call outs here because both the bisexual undertaker and Kevin Owens are tired. So I'm going to I'm going to do the double up the this time up. around. And also, actually, Seth Rollins is coming in to be a cruiserweight. He's not going to be a specialist on oops, on SmackDown. He's going to be a cruiserweight. So, for our main event, hmm, yeah, what's our main event this time? I think our main event has to be oh, boy. The tag match. That everybody, wait, what happened? The tag match that everyone's been asking for. Everybody, literally everybody was asking for it. Who? Oh, yeah, the run in and okay, self promo, the threat, call out. Ooh, maybe I don't do the double up this week. No, uh, I'm not gonna double up this week because I need a call out or a uh, self promo. So, who needs the little stamina boost? I think Dexter. Ooh, no, he's gotta have a match this week, actually. Nope, you're facing coffee. You know what, Chad Gabester is going to do a little self-promo on himself. The Gabe. The Gabester. Okay, I know this middle match. We know what we're doing here. So we're going to start off by Dexter Loomis, Paul Coffey in... Damn, TLC, what are they like? They're going to have Cool Cash? No, we're going to have Extreme Rules match. Damn. Up here. Hmm. The women are just too interesting not to put in a match together. Debatable. No. <laughs> 68, 43, 47. One of them might get hurt. But we're going to do it. It's been a popular match. Opener. God, I almost need to do a thing to get this uh, title belt off the beer. But uh, fix match in order? No. <coughs> Not yet. I'm gonna do a tables match. 
with the boys. It's going to be a title match because, wait, they didn't get the number one contendership. Oh, mm. right. I'm just trying to actually book like a real show here actually, by doing yeah. that. So, maybe Trick says, why don't you put up your Intercontinental title and if I win... Or if you win, you can have our uh, tag title shot. So that's the storyline there. Oh, I get it. And we might... Oh, we got Carmella Hayes and Ivar. So we might put them in a normal match. No title belts. And I think... That's our show this week. Two talent... No, no. Okay. I don't think we're going to use anything right now. We're going to keep all of our cards. So here we go. Locking it in. Oh, shit. All right. <clears throat> In what potentially could be a horrible show for WCW, the opener of the title match. We have a new challenger for Braun. <clears throat> we have Dominic Mysterio. Let's see how he fares. He's probably going to get... Oh, my God. Uh-oh. Dirty Dom. Oh, we half. have an upset. We have a new heavyweight champion. And then... Cody, the Cody Coalition, one half of it, calls out Roman Reigns. The rivalry grows to level three. And then newcomer Gunther McGurder, fan favorite from last season, on the mid card against Akira Tozawa, making his debut for WCW, and he gets upset by Akira. Yes, disappointing indeed. The fans are pissed. The fans go mild. And look at this. A new rivalry grows, though. Even though Akira beat Gunther tonight, he also finds himself in a tag feud with his new partner, Styles. as Uncle Howdy says, hey, screw you guys. I'm going home. So we have a new rivalry. And then Scripps, Triton. Here we go. Back again. Triton. Trying to get his first win at WCW. And he does. And he gets the robbery. And he gets the robbery. What can't this man do? Except for lose weight. All right. <laughs> the Miz calls out Braun, says, Hey, you lost your belt, you little punk, to a guy named Dirty Dom. Dirty Dom. And Braun didn't like that. So the robbery grips. And in a women's title match, in a tables match. Rhea Ripley, our champion against Becky Lynch. Can Becky Lynch get the belt pried away from her hands? No. No. Miss Ripley takes Me. it in a thriller. In the rivalry grips. Over to the AI Raw next. They kick it off with Asuka and Nikita Lions. No rivalry here. But Asuka looking to defend her women's world title against Nikita. Fails to do so, Nikita. New women's champion in a three and a half star match. Finn Balor self promo gets plus three popularity on his side. And then it's Josh Briggs and R-Truth against the Usos. Jimmy and Damon, the Usos get the win. Just like last week, two and a half stars. Rivalry up to level two. Austin Theory, another self promo for him. He gets a plus three popularity boost. Then a women's tag action. Charlotte Flair and Natalya, the women's tag champs against EO Sky and Tiffany Stratton. The champs win the non-title match. Two and a half stars beginning a rivalry there. Then Julius Creed calls out Finn Balor. Says, come to the ring. I want to shot your title. And then Finn Balor just says, nah. So the rivalry doesn't grow. And then new United States champion on Raw, LA Knight, trying to hang on to the title against Shinsuke, but Nakamura wins it right back. Three and a half stars, their rivalry up to level three. And then last show this week, ECW. Bianca Belair and Dakota Kai. Bianca called out Dakota last week. Dakota went on to win a triple threat match, but she cannot get through Bianca. We get a three star match out of the two ladies. Rivalry up to level two. And all of a sudden, oh, oh, Sean. Sean Michaels is here. He's sexy, and he's calling out a boy named mm. Dude Love. 
and everyone's kind of confused as hell because we're like, why, why, why is Shawn Michaels calling out Dude Love? But he demands to see him. We'll have to figure out what's going on there. Sami Zayn taking on Ludwig Kaiser. All of a sudden, the world champ Gunther runs out. Sami Zayn wins it by disqualification. But Gunther and Kaiser team up on him after the fact. Two-star match rivalry for Gunther and Sami Zayn up to level three. Little training session for Nathan Frazier. We're looking to develop his abilities. We get six ring XP there. We'll take that. He gets somewhere random between one and ten, so anything five or better makes my heart warm. Nikki Cross, Chelsea Green continuing their feud here. Nikki gets the win in a one-and-a-half-star match. Robbery does not expand. <coughs> Chase U unfortunately could not be here tonight, but that did not stop Pretty Deadly for mocking every bit of their mm. establishment, every bit of the university of which they've built. And they said at the pay-per-view, we will get our tag team champions back and finish this thing once and for all. Then it's a tables match, Logan Paul and Big E, and all of a sudden, Dude Love is out in the ring. He runs out, puts... Logan Paul threw a table, three-star main event, and the strategy ended up working. So since we got Sean into a rivalry with Dude Love earlier in the show, it allowed Logan Paul and Big E be the only two in this match without a rivalry, and now those two are in a feud. So a little bit of versatility that we can use there and feel good about how that show came out. Oh, I lied. I forgot. SmackDown needs to be set. Don't forget about SmackDown. Wow. That's on me. That's on me. So Trick Williams offered a uh, put an offer forward to Veer. Said, "If you give me an Intercontinental Title shot and I win, I'll become the champion. If you win, you and your partner Ivar can go after our tag belts again. So let's see who prevails in this match." Veer. So the the Giants do get another shot at the title belts, probably at the pay per view. Uh, okay, David, bisexual Undertaker calls out Kevin Owens and it's a pretty good promo because we go up to level 2 we like that uh, last week Dexter Loomis made his appearance and called out Joe Coffey started a little robbery we're getting that going in an Extreme Rules match second match of the night as the least popular the less popular guys get a mediocre match but we do grow the rivalry so we don't hate it Chad Gable says look at my tights and he goes up three popularity, pretty decent uh, promo by the uh, level two Mike skill guy. But we take that huh. in our mid car match. Ivar says, hey, you took on my my tag team partner earlier. So we're going to go after yours. Carmelo Hayes. No, obviously no title belt here as only a tag title is on the line. But Ivar, the Giants are just putting on a good show tonight. And a great match. Damn. Wish we could have watched that one. Hmm. Uh, Seth Rollins says, welcome to SmackDown. Guess what? I don't know anything about specialties. I am a cruiser weight. And in our main event, the ladies have been main eventing for a second week in a row. Our third <laughs> triple threat match with the ladies. They still got a good uh, stamina. Who is, is the title belt going to change again? Oh, it doesn't. Fuck. Liv takes it. <laughs> And Valhalla and Liv Morgan go up. So that's kind of great. Tamina's going to take a step back. And that's what we're looking for. Solid shows yet again this week. I think a clean sweep for good booking across the board. To do the quick rundown no. again. Bianca over Dakota Kai. Three-star match. Level two on their feud. Sami Zayn wins by disqualification over Ludwig Kaiser. Two-star match with the run-in from Gunther there. Pushing that rivalry to level three. Nikki Cross defeats Chelsea Green in a one-and-a-half-star match. And then Dude Love comes out, takes the tables match. Logan Paul and Big E starting rivalry. Dude Love grabbing the victory his first night in. And then Shawn Michaels uh, called out Dude Love to start a feud with them. And Pretty Deadly called out Chase U to get that rivalry up to level three. Over on SmackDown, the show we just saw through here. Veer Mahan takes down Trick Williams, hanging on to his Intercontinental title, giving he and Ivar an opportunity to the tag titles in a two and a half star match. Two stars. Dexter Loomis defeating Joe Coffey in Extreme Rules, growing their rivalry as well. Ivar, <coughs> the challengers of the tag division make a big statement as Ivar also beats Carmelo Hayes. Their rivalry goes level two in a three and a half star match. And then three and a half stars in the main event. Liv Morgan hangs on to her women's title in the triple threat. And her rivalry with Valhalla moves up to level two. On the claw side of things, Damian Priest extends the rivalry with Kevin Owens up to level two. 
WCW Dirty Dom gets it on a little upset over Braun Strowman. Three and a half stars becoming the new WCW United States Champion. Akira Tozawa takes down the debuting Gunther McGurder to the disdain of the entire Cody-verse. Akira Tozawa grabbed that win in a one and a half star match. One and a half stars for Triton over Scripps. So these two guys coming in looking to make a name for themselves and grow themselves. Triton getting the win in a one and a half star match with his new rival. Four stars in the main event as we go to level two. Rhea Ripley hangs on to her women's title over Becky Lynch in a tables match. On the cause side of things, Cody Rhodes calls out Roman Reigns getting their rivalry up to level three. Uncle Howdy and Ricochet call out Akira Tozawa and Scripps officially kickstarting their tag team feud. And then yeah. The Miz mocks Braun Strowman for losing his United States title. That rivalry now up to level two. And then finally for Raw, uh, women's world title Nikita Lyons takes down Asuka to get the belt in a three and a half star match. The Usos defeat R-Truth and Josh Briggs in a two and a half star match rivalry up to level two. Uh, two and a, or, yeah, two and a half stars. Uh, Charlotte and Natalia take down Io Sky and Stratton beginning a rivalry. And then Shinsuke Nakamura, level three rivalry now as he wins back the uh, Raw United States title from LA Knight. And then Julius Creed tried to call out promo and it did not extend the feud. Over WCW, 39,000 fans for WCW, $44,000. An unstoppable chairman says, where'd Gunther McGurder come from, LOL? Got a long way to go. Hey, don't disrespect Gerder. <laughs> He's going to be a star by the end of this thing. It's going to happen. Mm. Over on Raw, Tiffany Stratton and Neo Sky make a good tag team. 50,000 fans for Raw. $57,000. ECW, 42,000 fans for ECW. $47,000. And for SmackDown, 43,000 fans, $26,000. Health Spa Yay. to WCW for doing their commissioner goal. Special promotion to ECW for the commissioner goal. And there sit the standing. So Raw up by 7,000 on SmackDown, who's up by 2K on me, who's up by 8K on WCW and Cheekers. As we go into the Go Home Show the last week, before Hell in a Cell, and this week I will be kicking off. And we get it started. I got confused about the content. I was like, oh, yeah, I did sign up to a two week deal. And last week would count as the first week. I got, I like, was like, wait a second. All right. Ad agency comes back. We ended up with a fan change of plus 4K from the campaign. So I could cancel the rest of the campaign and just take 4K or I can keep it going. I'm going to, I'm going to, oh, man. Uh, eh, screw it. Let, let, let's try, let's do it again. Thanks, Triple H. All right, so I'm gonna do the contracts last. We'll see how these go. All right, Gunther been talking a lot with Ludwig Kaiser. He has this great idea that we should team up in a tag match because we're actually a team. So team us up. Uh, yeah, that's fine. Next few weeks, we can do that. A little tag depth never hurt anybody, and we get a little increase to Gunther's morale. Sami Zayn, that loser Gunther attacked me during the last five. I'm not going to say grudge like that. I want to sell things in the ring with him within the next three weeks. That works out perfectly. That's our feud. So we're going to get a knockout. A couple promises there. We can do Sami Zayn and a partner versus Ludwig and Gunther. That should cover both of those. Uh, so this is where we'll, we'll lose some of that budget because I have to give at least five weeks to keep these guys. And since we were able to pop them in a feud right away, we're going to go ahead and do that. Uh, five weeks cost would be 133. So it, for these, so you guys know, you can always hit let's talk figures because you can still select not to at the end. So when you're on those deals, I would always suggest, unless you have a contract extension you want to use, I would always suggest saying let's talk figures because then you can just see it all. Mm. Um, okay, so I've got it. So his popularity was higher. So we're going to give that to him. And then we might have to lowball dude glove. It'll be close. 131k. I mean, I could give it to him and just have a cheap weakness. But I think I'm gonna lowball dude. Yeah, we're gonna lowball him. Dang. All right. 
Ooh. So we'll trust that we can build up his morale. Have at least one TLC match. Okay. For limited stock. Double the price of power cards. That's okay, but I might not do that one. Um, okay, so... Let's kind of set ourselves in. So no upgrades this week on logistics because we only got the one asset. I think I already... Yeah, I have a physio. <coughs> Health spa and fixed match are tempting, but since we did just use that money on those contracts, I think we're going to hold... So let's go ahead. I think what I'm going to do here is I'm going to go tag team. We're going to go Gunther and Ludwig Kaiser to get their match against Sammy. I just want to see. Can you do like a. Okay, I don't know if you can do like a tag team run in than a tag match. Um. So for right this. Oh, we'll just go with Nathan Fraser since he's in the feud with Ludwig. That'll work for that. That takes care of what they want. And I think I go triple threat, Bianca, Nikki, and Chelsea. What my thinking is, is again, I might try to pursue the one of each match type to get a feel for it. Um, so then I would need to go... Which way do I want to go here? So I can go Fatal 4-Way. these guys. Then I'll end up changing this match order. But I can go Triple Threat with part of the tag feud. And then I could have Chase run in. So that has a run in, so that probably goes here. Chelsea and Nikki have struggled, so I I mean I like Bianca. I don't know if she'll raise that enough. So I think I'm gonna go like this. And then we'll have Dakota Kai promo, and then I think I'm just gonna grab whatever jobbers are here and rock them for advertising this week. She's got a three promo, so we'll grab her. We're gonna hope she makes me more than 1700 bucks. Sassy molassy. <laughs> Alcatraz. Yeah, we're gonna grab Sassy molassy. So these two are gonna come in and just cut advertising, I think. Unless there's a special promo type that you need to do. But they will be. So if you do a one week contract, they are gone the next week because. Like how I had Dude Love and Shawn Michaels with that renegotiation. You don't trigger that with just a one-week deal. So if you do one week, it is literally just they'll be back in free agency the following week. Just as a heads up on that front. So those two do advertising. We spent a combined 3000 on them. So hopefully we'll get 3000 back. I guess order of promos doesn't really matter, but I can't help myself. Um, let's see if we can get this a level three for the pay per view. Actually, no, I'm going to leave that. That way they can maybe extend beyond. We're going to give Dakota Kai training. Level for XP. Alright, so I feel pretty good about that. If the other women's feud gets to level three, that'll end. Right now, everything's looking like tag feud will end, world title feud will end. The other stuff is still there. I can move with. Um, oh, I did two triple threats. Wait, what do I need? Oh, I need just a singles match. Okay, so let's go. <clears throat> so I actually didn't need to sign both of those ladies. Wait. So we're just gonna... So I did waste like 1700 but that's okay. Um, so I'm just gonna have these two go again. And then you're the one that can cut a promo, so this is gonna become... She's going to also do advertising. Bang. Okay. So we've got a tag, a triple threat, a singles, and a fatal four-way. I believe 
that is what I need to do five times to get this, but I want to test it once and see if that is what it is. Uh, GM interference. I might, I might do that on this. I'll help one of them this week, and then I'll help the other at another time. Um, you're both just normal here. We'll help Chelsea. Definitely got the curve with the run in and that. Feel more confident in the fatal four way. I think I'm gonna save match types for the pay per view. Um, I don't wanna use my ECW card yet. This can't be used for a pay per view. That I will use next week at the pay per view. Yeah, so I think we're. I think we're golden. Give me kind of a low key show for me this week. But uh, I think we'll have the curve. I think we'll be in a good spot for the pay-per-view. Say go cheaper after paying those two big contracts and we send it through. Oh, oh my that. God. Okay, interesting. That's kind of oh. mine. That's actually fine. I'm actually okay with that. I'm totally okay with that. You did say it was going to get used on you. No. I didn't say that. I knew it. You're not gonna like this. Great three people <laughs> attempt that though. Okay. That's just the first stamina warning of the year. Rematch. Oops. I didn't. Oh. Sorry. <laughs> uh, Seth Rollins. Ooh. Fair. Seth freaking Rollins with Dexter freaking Loomis. Freaking Aiders. Okay. What's my thing this week? Have your most popular available and blah, 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 fight each other. Okay. Most popular available, right? So it's like... Yeah, so in this case, it'd be Damian Priest versus Carmelo Hayes. Oh, well, what do I get? Oops. Oh, oh. <laughs> uh, ooh. Kind of worth it. Okay, taking over Kevin Owens' spot, I guess, is... Uh... Might have to we might have to bring somebody on i'm not sure oh damn it that actually that kevin owens does kind of hurt now hmm. oh yeah because you can't like call out or extend the view wait you can't do do the two have to be available oh wait there it is yeah so you, in this case you could have beer and ivar call yeah you can go that way you can do it. okay great and you can't do, obviously, you probably can't do the same. Like, you can't high bar and beer. No. Okay. Oh, I didn't even think about that. That would be funny. Um, these three aren't available, so I guess the Parade Stairs is going to go for a self promo. And believe it or not, we're actually going to use our three to immediately buy the Wrestling Center as well. And also unlocks backstage brawls. Hmm. Oh. Oof, okay. Why do you have to use this war against me? What an asshole. Okay, that's fine. Uh, uh, let's get our... Oh, boy. We might have to hire somebody. Seth Rollins and Loomis versus... Yeah, we're gonna need to get a giant, an evil giant. I can't just, okay, I'm gonna put somebody in for now. I'm just gonna put a Paul Cruzins for now so we can have that match while I go look for somebody. Uh, we want a Gianto, Gigante, male, and little mad boy. Can I do, oops. Nope. We do have a giant there, but he's, so might as well use all five. Let's try to get somebody a gold to see who pops up. Ooh. Omos and Dijak. Dijak and Omos for the Omos Sapiens, Omos. potentially. Omos, Omos. Oh, ooh. Two of five promo skill, two of five promo skill. Same popularity. A little better stamina. 
rule breaker. Oh, is that just what a heal's called? Yeah. I think we are gonna take our boy here. Oh, Moss get a huge oh, opportunity. I think we're gonna take him for six weeks. Boom, huge opportunity. As we get another tag team in the fold, our tag division is kind of shaping up. Yeah, especially because usually with that Loomis, it's like in that case, usually Loomis and Seth are going to have chemistry too, so you know that's going to be a legit team you can count on. Right. Um, okay, we're going to have to just add in the blisters. 35, 35. Only, oh, if only I could put Piper in. Um, what dudes do we have? What men? What beefy, burly men do we have? Hello? Gunther McGirder? What? Gunsties? Okay, uh... And I can't put anybody else in. Alright, we're gonna have to hire a jobber. Uh... And they're all face? That hurts me so much. How much are you for one week? 16k? Versus like... Belly button was square. Uh, <clears throat> all right, Olaf. Ooh. We just need you for a triple threat match. Wouldn't have you any other way. Huh. It's not gonna be the greatest because it's gonna be three faces, but you know what? We gotta do what we gotta do sometimes. It's the friendliest. That's why triple it's there. Match. And for our women like this and we do a call out boom that's feeling good We're, we uh, we might as well put the woman's title belt on the line hey, for funsies um morale shifts oh, oh they, they're okay happy. they're happy like that yeah, and uh, hopefully that rivalry kicks that's gonna go up that's the priest and owens unfortunately it's not gonna be good for the pay-per-view that actually really hurts but I have a plan for that actually, so no worries. I think this is our, this is it. This is our show for the week. Oh, Ooh. selecting the opposing brand, increase the all contracts next week, can up be used in week 25. Injury rehab, get schooled. Uh, 15 ring XP, that's actually fucking amazing. Next week that's is it. a good pay-per-view week. Any grab the talent. How many cards get used? But we're not going to use. Ooh. Oh, Tamina is the only one available. Thirty-five to forty-one. She can have the health spot one. Go to the health spot. Hey, spot a girl. Spot a. Okay, that's the only thing we're using. Actually. <laughs> oh no. There you go. For the pay per view. Some random is going to get vetoed, and that's just you know if you're if you haven't seen the last season, the reason I'm going hard on Cody is he. I said if you block my Kurt Angle versus Al Snow match, I am going hard <laughs> on you, very hard on you this season. And the, the guess what got blocked? It was Kurt Angle versus Al Snow, and that is not the first time Cody has blocked an amazing feud going into an awesome pay per view for me. So it was uh, it was hammer time for sure. So this is our show. Cody's in shambles. Here we go. Seems to be his MO. All right. Becky Lynch, you don't seem to realize this, Breeze, but I'm a bit of a master on the mic. I want to make my mark in a promo. Okay. Great. All right. So that was easy. Braun says, hey, boss. Ooh, been talking a lot with Gunther, the Gerdster. He had a great idea. We should be tag team. Damn. A couple hosses. But I already got a tad feud, though. I already got a tag feud. You'd have, so I will say, though, you have three weeks. So if you want to True. Do... Great. I'll let him know. All right. Schedule a run in on your most That's popular cool. star. Select an opposing brand, double the cash cost of their talent scout searches next week. I don't really like that card because I feel like you just won't scout that week then. 
Yeah, the so. the use of that would be like if you know someone just had like a bunch of injuries or something, you could like get them right. the next week. But yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna pass on that. Um, roster status. So we got three decent rivalries. Oh, we got five. We got a little bit a little bit popping over here. Um, I'm trying to think. Think of popping each other's assholes. Whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> All right, I want to see my season challenges, see where we're at. Um, going to keep using the points. All right, look, 10 tag team match. All right, all right, all right. Let's keep using some talent scout points. You got them. I got him. So we're just gonna do this. All right, we're just gonna use the points. We're not gonna sign anybody. And then points get schooled. Ooh, that's pretty good. Um, that's what I got. 15 ring XP. I'm probably going to do that. And then let's see here. <laughs> Can't use those for the PLEs. Um, I'm going to save that. Yeah, I don't think I'm going to use any cards though. All right. Let's get to it. Let's see what we can do here. Put together one last show. Can we bring it home and be set up good for the pay-per-view? Um, let's see. Let's do tag team. And we got to get... Come on now. Got to keep this going. So, Scripps, Akira. Let's see what they do. Ricochet, Boko Howdy. For the belts. The women, I feel like they need... They need a match as well. So, we got to get... Our lovely contestants here. Get the belt going here. Man. Like bronze pushing it. Let's get this feud going some more. And then we will do. I think I'm gonna rest Braun and the Miz. I'm gonna see. Dirty Dominic and Triton. We'll have them. What if Triton wins this? <clears throat> yeah, put the U.S. title on his back, carry it to new heights. Well, yeah, it's not gonna get carried very far. Um, I think. I'm trying to think here. These popularities. This will probably be the right curve. I feel like. And then on the back end, Rhea going to continue to call out Becky Lynch. Oh, gosh. The Miz will continue to call out Strowman. And I think Strowman's just going to get... You know, no, he's got three on the mic. We're going to have him... You know what? Hmm. Now let's have him do self promo. All right, that's my show. I think we can make it work for this week. A lot of title matches going on, but we are gonna be popping, boys. All right, I think we're good. I'm happy with that.
right, kicking off this week, it is AI Raw from Theodore Long. He's got Jimmy Uso and Damon Uso defending the tag titles against our truth and Josh Briggs to kick it off in a tables match. Usos win it, three and a half stars. United States champion Sisuke Nakamura on the promo, plus one pop for him. Charlotte Flair, EO Sky, singles action here. EO Sky gonna get the victory in a three and a half star match, kickstarting a feud between those two. Austin Theory, self promo, plus one popularity for him. And then Asuka, so, oh, there's a lot of chaos here. Okay, so. I think Nikita is in a rivalry with Natalia. It's a triple threat for the women's title. Nikita defending. Tiffany Stratton wins the match. And it looks like she got the belt. I didn't know if there'd be like a DQ, but I guess triple threats I don't think have them. Tiffany Stratton, new women's champion. No rivalry movement there. LA Knight calls out Shinsuke. Says we are going to finish this thing at Hell in a Cell unless they decide not to book it. You never know what the AI. That rivalry up to level four. And in the main event, tables match, world title on the line. Finn Balor versus Julius Creed. And Julius Creed, your new world champion in a four-star main event, pushing that rivalry up to level two. Then we head over to ECW. So Gunther and Ludwig Kaiser, I drafted them to have, you know, a little bit of Imperium on the roster. Gunther said, hey, I want a team with Ludwig Kaiser. And that works out. So we took our two singles feuds here. Put them in a tag. Gunther and Ludwig Kaiser. Imperium get the win in a three and a half star opener. <coughs> Little advertising promo out of Bianca Belair. She loses three popularity but gets us $13,500. We will take that. Again, this week we're trying to do, we're trying to see if uh, what unlocks progress on my season challenge. It says book one, book all different match types over a card. Last year I was told book a tag a triple threat a singles and a fatal four-way that's what you need we're testing it this week so triple threat using our tag few do cuts and kit will snelt prints out there andre chase runs in and in all the chaos uh elton prince gets the win andre chase starts a feud with kit wilson on the singles side of things so a little depth there uh josie jane was signed just for this week and she made us more money than we signed her for but we did sign another per so we lost 500 in this deal because I signed two people before I realized I needed to tweak a match. But Josie Jane on her side, she earned more than what she was paid for. So thank you for your service. Then we're going to do GM Interference. we got to do 10 of these this year. This feud isn't really going anywhere crazy. So we're going to use GM Interference this week. We got it in the middle of the card, expecting it to rate lower. Chelsea Green gets the win with our help in a one and a half star match. Robbery goes up to level three. Little ring training for Dakota Kai goes. It says okay, but I think you can only get one to ten here. Dakota Kai gets nine ring XP. We will happily take that. And then the main event, uh, two single suits pairing up here in a fatal four-way. Logan Paul, Big E in a rivalry. Shawn Michaels, Dude Love in a rivalry. Big E gets the victory in the fatal four-way in a two and a half star match. So it did not rate as well as the opener, but both rivalries do get up to level two. Over on SmackDown. SmackDown opens up. I, I, yeah, I guess this is the best mode to match to open up with. I didn't really think about my curve, but that's totally fine. I'm okay with opening up with the tag match with Dexter Loomis coming in and getting his uh, match with Joe Coffey. But he wanted to, he wanted to team up with Seth freaking Rollins. So Seth freaking Rollins' his first match is going to be against Joe Coffey and how, almost, almost, almost. Omos. And the Oma Sapiens. Okay. <laughs> and I like that team. I like the, you know, I, I, I like it. So let's see what happens. The boys take it. In a mediocre match, not the best, but I just think it's not going to be great. Okay. Anyways, rivalry grows there. Ivar and uh, Veer, the Giants, getting under the skin of the tag champions. And I make our match. We just had to throw this one together. To get a triple threat going again, kind of a letdown, as Cheek would call SmackDown letdown, disappointing yeah. match. Self promo, we had to get one of these in. Tyler Bray goes up to popularity with his three mic skill, not bad. Our most popular uh, heel going up against our most popular face, just to get Triple H to be happy with us and give us a nice power card. Again, not sure what to expect out of this match. A mediocre match, Ooh. kind of a mediocre smackdown, but we're okay with that. Uh. This grows up, 
and title match. Alexa Bliss has only been doing promos. She has 100 stamina. She wants a match. We said we might as well throw the title belt on the line. Take it away. She does. And Liv Morgan. We got a good match there, at least. Okay, we ended SmackDown with something good. We like that. Speaking of things you like, WCW. <laughs> we have the opener here. We also have a tag match as an opener, but this is the title for the men's tag. The newly formed rivalry, Uncle Howdy, Uncle Howdy, excuse me, Ricochet, against the challengers, Akira Scripps. Let's see if the belts change hands. They do not. Uncle Howdy is a dog. Rivalry grows, by the way. Love to see it. And then over on the women's who are feuding, the rivalry grows there between Rhea Ripley and Becky Lynch. And then the title match, Triton got his first win last week. And now the newcomer gets a shot against the new uh, men's champion, Dominic, who had an upset last week over Braun Strowman. Let's see if the belt changes hands yet again this week. It does not. Looks like Dirty Dominic will have the heavyweight championship going into the pay-per-view. <clears throat> and then call out, Miz says, yo, Braun, you bald, you look funny. Braun didn't like it, he took exception. So the rivalry grows. Mid-card, title match. This time we go to the women's tag belt. And let's see if the challengers, Blair and Becky, can upset our champs they cannot what a pair these two are zoe and indy they have yet to lose and they keep the belts yet again and braun Strowman, a little bummed out a little annoyed from getting called out by the miz yet again and he lost his belt so he decides to go and spout off and he increases popularity ever so slightly and then in your main event cody rose roman reigns does the, does the belt change hands before the pay-per-view? It does. Roman Reigns gets his belt back. The rivalry grows to a level four as we go into the pay-per-view. Sets things up pretty good on the WCW side. All right, and then to run it down for the go-home show, the final week for the Hell in a Cell pay-per-view. I believe we got good booking across the board again. We do. So on ECW, three and a half stars in the opener. Imperium taking down Sami Zayn and Nathan Frazier. Triple threat action. Elton Prince wins the triple threat. Andre Chase runs in, starts a rivalry with Kit Wilson individually. One and a half stars there. Also one and a half stars. Chelsea Green defeating Nikki Cross. Rivalry goes to level three with a little GM interference. And then the main event, two and a half stars. Big E winning the Fatal 4-Way, but both feuds go up to level 2. Logan Paul and Big E, Shawn Michaels, and Dude Love. Over on SmackDown, Dexter Loomis and Seth Rollins debut as a team in victorious faction over Joe Coffey and Omos. Then Apollo Crews wins a triple threat match over Trick Williams and Olaf Ostrovsky in a one and a half star match. Two stars, Damian Priest taking down Carmelo Hayes, earning the power card for Canada. And then the main event, Liv Morgan hanging tight to that title, taking down Alexa Bliss in a three-star match. Uh, Valhalla, Liv Morgan will be level three for the pay-per-view. And then the tag feud also expands level two after Veer Mahan and Ivar call out Carmelo Hayes and Trick Williams. On the WCW side, three stars as That's the tag no champs no defend word. successfully. Ricochet and Uncle Howdy taking down Akira Tozawa and Scripps, the rivalry up to level two. Dirty Dom hangs on to the United States Championship over Triton in a two and a half star match. Women's tag champs defend as Indy Harwell and Zoe Stark take down Blair Davenport and Becky Lynch. But then we did have one title change hands. Roman Reigns, your new world champion over on WCW, taking down Cody Rhodes in a four star affair, the rivalry up to level four. And then The Miz gets the rivalry to level three with Strowman. Rhea Ripley gets the rivalry to level three with Becky Lynch. And then finally, over on AI Raw, the Usos, three and a half stars, take down Briggs and R Truth for the Raw tag titles, defending successfully. EO Sky beats Charlotte Flair in a three and a half star match. Uh, Tiffany Stratton, your new women's champion, after a run in by Natalia, cost and distracted her rival Nikita Lyons. Tiffany Stratton, your new women's champion, and in the main event, new world champion over on Raw. 
is Julius Creed, who takes down Finn Balor rivalry up to level two. And then LA Knight calls out Shinsuke Nakamura, their rivalry at level four for the pay-per-view. <coughs> so for Raw, big week for them, 54,000 fans. Dang. For Raw, $45,000. For ECW, Ludwig Kaiser and Gunther work Ooh. well together. 42,000 fans on our end, $75,000. SmackDown, Dexter Loomis and Seth Rollins work well as a team. 37,000 fans and $75,000. Then for WCW, Rick, Shane, Uncle Howdy have now built hey. that tag team chemistry. 46,000 fans today, $1,000. That's cool to see. I think that's new. I feel like last year, if they didn't get chemistry the first week, it didn't develop. And it looks like in this case, if you have a team and kind of commit to it, uh, maybe you can develop that chemistry over time, which is pretty badass. Pretty sweet. Uh, network special, very good power card there for SmackDown uh, for having their top face and heel face. Cheek and I did not go for our commissioner goals this week. And there you see the standings going into the pay-per-view. 18,000 fans up for Raw. I am in second. Behind me is Canada. And then Cheek, very close with Canada. They're split by about 800. So, obviously, they're really going. It's always a chaotic race. We go to Hell in a Cell. Veto Ooh. random superstar on ECW. We lose our Ooh, tag feud. Oh no. So we'll extend that out for the next pay per view. Ooh. And Teddy Long uses just a minute play, which this hits all of us. So I think we oh, all no. are getting hit with this right away. So keep in mind match bonuses, quality boosts are uh, removed. So I don't know 100%. I believe, like, if you were to use, like, a tables match boost card you don't get credit for it mm -hmm. um if you have someone that's a match specialty it goes away so our match quality is going to be down and our xp is going to be uh less than normal um so i'll go through my emails here and then we'll close out this episode uh so kit wilson cannot partake this week results of the second act campaign we gain two thousand fans if we continue it'll be the final week of the campaign I'm going to see it through. I, I feel like having two weeks go positive. I feel like the third week has to lose, but I want to know. I, I, I just have to know. We're up 6K. Hopefully doing it one more week doesn't completely burn us. Um, Nikki is not happy with us interfering. So her morale goes down a little bit, but we're going to try to help her out at some point. <coughs> Excuse me. Gunther says, I told you, Ludwig and I hit it off as a tag team. Thanks for pairing us up. The crowd was behind us. Got the first tag team win. They'll kill it. He is happy as can be. And then Big E, his contract negotiation here. Uh, five weeks, so we'll talk figures. And we're going to, again, we're going to low ball here at the start. We grabbed some people. We, we felt a little confident, but we're going to take a moderate morale hit on Big E uh, with the hopes that we can climb it up. Uh, okay, so with... Ooh, I'm going to have a big decision. It'll be in the next video, but I'll, I'll explain why here at the end of this. So, um, every five weeks, your biggest opportunity to make a comeback and gain leads. So that's similar to last year for the pay-per-views of PLEs. Um, but on logistics, and it's why I'm going to have a decision to make, every pay-per-view, there is a logistic that costs one asset uh, and $50,000. What I don't know is I don't know if WrestleMania makes it cost more. Uh, but the other pay-per-views, that's what the cost is. And I'm literally $300 away from that. So if I want this boost, I would have to release a wrestler to increase the show quality by another 5%, the ticket price by $2, and the capacity by $2,500. So that's that's a good teaser. That's a good teaser. If you're this far into the episode and you're like, oh, my God, is he going to release somebody? Well, you better subscribe to the damn channel and find out. So, you know, I'll kickstart with my thoughts here, you know. I'm going to get creative. We lose our tag feud for the pay-per-view, but I didn't necessarily have a plan for the second tag feud. So I guess glass half full, um, you know, I can figure something out, maybe even end the feud on a weekly show for a fan boost when I unlock steel cage matches. Um, but we've got some other feuds rock in there, so we'll find our way through. Uh, but the biggest decision for me is going to be, I literally need $300 to get that boost. Um, so do I release somebody from my roster uh, just to get that boost? And that you're going to find out the next episode. Cheek, I'm going to go to you on the WCW side of things. So, you know, big set of title matches last week gave you a little boost to the fans. Um, 
you know, pay-per-view coming up. Is there anything you're excited to get on that pay-per-view card? Um, nothing crazy in particular. Uh, it'll be nice to see Cody Rhodes and Roman Reigns go at it once again, just to kind of see the rubber match between that rivalry. It's changed hands now, back and forth. So that one will be interesting. I have a lot of rivalries I can put on the books. And, um, you know, I'm falling behind in fans compared to Raw, but I'm right on the heels of SmackDown and not too far um, from you at ECW. So so we're kind of we're kind of hanging in there. We're making it work. So I'm excited to schedule it. And then SmackDown for you. Uh, mm-hmm. You know, you had mentioned not as big of a show, but I mean, that network special, that is, in my opinion, one of the best power cards in the game. I think super worth what you're doing. I think it's a good plan to set you up for the future do you have anything in particular for the pay-per-view you're excited to see uh i don't know necessarily for the pay-per-view i i you know i don't know if i can is it still a submission match to end the paper or to end a feud or is it a Uh, steel cage yeah steel cage this year basically cage and submission have like flipped what their roles do okay so thinking i might do a steel cage match with the bisexual undertaker and kevin owens because they're only at level two But I might, as like you said, I might save that for a weekly show. Um, I'm excited for our tag feud. And although I have been going hard on you, uh, Raw and Teddy Long, Theodore Long, are pulling away kind of with the fans. So might have to redirect some hatred. Um, but I don't, I don't know. We'll see how things land. Um, I'm, I'm just excited to, for the pay-per-view. I'm excited to spectate our first match of WWE 24. Yes, you read my mind right there. And yeah, it's interesting. Like the obviously we have the new extreme AI difficulty this year. Um, and you definitely feel it, but yeah, you know, we had the same thing happen to us on 2K23. I think the AI comes out of the gate. If you have it on a higher difficulty, they come out strong. They build their popularity a little easier. Um, you know, the it always comes down to how well they manage stamina. So it'll be interesting to see if Teddy Long uh, you know, can keep things afloat. But like Candace said. Uh, if you're newer here, we spectate at our pay-per-views. So what you're going to see in the next episode is our Hell in a Cell pay-per-view kicking us off. <coughs> Excuse moi And we are all going to be putting our shows together. All three of us will be picking one match to spectate. So the pay-per-view will be a standalone episode. It's always really fun. It gives us a chance to see these superstars in action. I think it draws our hearts a little closer to them as well. Uh, so to be fun to get the shows put on paper, see what matches we're spectating, and put on a good, entertaining product for you, the lovely viewer. So I'll say it again. If you want to know what's going to happen, right, I got to make a big decision on my show. Do I release somebody? I have no freaking clue if I'm going to release somebody, but I really want I really want that branded PLE bonus. So mm-hmm. somebody might have to skedaddle to make it happen. Who that's going to be, you're not going to know unless you're subscribed to the channel and you're dialed in for the next episode of GM Mode where we have our first pay-per-view. But until then, we wish you well. We appreciate you. Toodles.